like to have a pad under my knee. So the obturator nerve, since it's on the inside of our leg, we're gonna make sure the leg comes into abduction. From here, you can play around with this leg where it's at to best support this abduction. From here, you're gonna get real tall in your spine and then you'll send your pelvis forward, right? So we're tucking our tail, swinging it through our legs. You might already feel a bit of a stretch down that medial side of your thigh. And if it's look, if it's three out of 10 or under in intensity, that's plenty. If it's not quite to three, you can add in some other motions, which is going to be flexion of the upper body and then rotating away. And just that adds up enough to create stretch on that nerve. So then I can move my head or I can do the pelvis movement or I can play around with different combinations of those and even moving in and out of trunk flexion or trunk rotation, right? So the, we'll go through that again. Make sure the leg is abducted, body, trunk is nice and tall, especially at the back of your neck. First motion is tuck the tail, lengthening the bottom of the spine. If that doesn't create enough of the sensation of stretch on the nerve path, you can add in flexion, rotation away. Once you have that, as long as it's under a three, you can floss at the head, you can floss at the trunk, either in rotation or flexion extension or you can floss at the pelvis. You might find, and a lot of my clients find, that winding up the nerve completely is too uncomfortable and you'll just have a powerful result from just the pelvis moving. Okay, give it a try.